Alright folks, so I just wanted to do a quick video on this new release flashlight from Olight. It's the M2R Warrior flashlight. It's a new flashlight in their tactical line. So it's a little bit of a tactical and an EDC flashlight rolled into one. What we're going to do is we're going to go some, over some specifications. We're going to talk a little bit how the flashlight works. And then we're going to go outside and do some beam shots. But before we do that, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. Before we get started, I did want to say that I was contacted by Olight and they asked me if I wanted to review this flashlight. And of course I said yeah. I'm a big fan of Olight's products and I was really excited to get my hands on this flashlight because I think it has a lot of features and capability that represent the next generation in tactical flashlights. So they sent me this flashlight free of charge in exchange for this video interview. That being said, let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Just taking a quick look at the packaging, you can see that it has a throw of 208 meters. Now I'm sure that's on the high setting. And then it has a total runtime of 25 days. I'm sure that's on the low moonlight setting. It comes with an LED emitter. It's made by Cree and it's the XHP35. It's a really nice LED emitter and it comes in a couple other flashlights that Olight shipped recently. I'll go ahead and include a link to Cree's website where you can read more about that emitter below. Um, also included, it comes with a battery, so hooray! And then it has a max capability of 1500 lumens. I got the one in neutral white. It also comes in cool white. Alright, let's take a quick look at the specifications also. On its turbo setting, you get 1500 lumens like we talked about. Or you can set it for 1000 lumens on turbo. After about 3 minutes, it's going to step down to 700 lumens and stay there for about 120 minutes or 2 hours. On high, you get 700 lumens for 2 hours. Medium 1, 250 lumen for 6 hours 15 minutes. Medium 2, 60 lumens for 20 hours, which is great. Low, 15 lumens for 70 hours. And Moonlight is 1 lumen for 25 days. I don't typically use flashlights in Moonlight mode. It just doesn't suit my needs. It's impact resistance up to 1.5 meters, so you can go ahead and drop it around if you like. I'm not going to do that with this one. When you take a look, it's around 10,000 candela, so this is going to be a floody flashlight, which makes sense because it's really more of a tactical EDC flashlight. IPX rated number 8, or X8, which means it can go 2 meters deep in water. And it's 5.1 by 1 point inch, so 5.1 inches long by 1 inch in diameter. It looks like it's 5.5 ounces right around there with the battery, and it's 3.7 without. Let's go ahead and get it open. All right, here's everything that shipped with it. First, we have an instruction manual, but we don't read these. Uh, the next thing, if you take a look, it comes with this pretty nice little holster. You can use this Molly attachment to put it on maybe the strap of a backpack or a vest if you wear one, like a tactical vest. You could clip it to your belt or you could click it to the side of your backpack or EDC bag. Let's go ahead and see how you open it up. I believe you just push. It's a little bit different. It's not a fast text buckle. You just push that and you go ahead and open it up. It is uh, pretty soft to the touch. It feels like nylon. It has a what seems to be a felt lining and slight padding inside. So uh, it's a pretty good addition to the flashlight and I'm glad they sent that. The first thing I want to check out is this USB charging cable that comes with the flashlight. Most of their flashlights that are rechargeable today come with this or a little bit of a standard dock. As you can see, it clicks to the end of the flashlight, and the LED indicator on the charger is glowing green, which means it's fully charged. Like most Olight flashlights that ship with a battery, it comes with this protector to make sure that your battery doesn't discharge or the flashlight gets turned on during shipping. The flashlight does ship with this Olight branded 18650 lithium ion battery. You can see that it's marked 3.6 volts, which is operating voltage. You can probably charge this up to about 4.1, no problem. It has 3,500 milliamps of capacity, and its output rating is set at 10 amps. You need a battery that has a higher output rating for these higher discharge lights. So if you go ahead and you put a different battery that has a lower rating on it, it the battery will either fail because of its circuit protection, or it just won't deliver the output that you're looking for. You can see this is marked as an HDC for a high discharge cell. It also comes with a standard Olight lanyard, which is pretty typical of Olight flashlights these days. The flashlight is branded with the M2R Warrior logo. It also has an activation button on the side that you can use to cycle through the modes of the flashlight or put the flashlight in lockout mode. 
It has their PVD coated crenulated bezel. It's a little bit sharp, it's a little bit aggressive, but it's a tactical flashlight and you may need to collect somebody's DNA. If you take a look inside the flashlight itself, you'll see it has an orange peeling on the reflector that surrounds the LED. This is going to help it be a little bit more of a floody light versus a thrower. On the other side of the light, you'll see the O-Light logo. It has some pretty deep heat sinks that go around where your PCB board connects to the emitter, and this will help keep the flashlight cool and prevent it from overheating. It also has pretty aggressive knurling uh, or traction plan to make sure that this flashlight doesn't sl slip out of your hand. The flashlight does feel pretty beefy in your hand. You can see that this can be used bi-directionally. This clip also comes off and it can be put here in a reverse mode, so you can kind of customize it to work for you. Now here's one of the coolest features of the flashlight. This tail cap not only allows you to charge your battery without taking it out, but it can t activate the flashlight. A half press will take you into temporary turbo mode, where a full press will turn it on until you turn the flashlight off. Using the side activation button, we can go through various modes. One click will turn it on, and then I can hold it to cycle through all of them. One click will turn it off, one click turns it back on, and then a little bit of a longer click will allow me to cycle through the modes a little bit slower. Folks, this flashlight currently goes for $99.95 on Olight World's website. I'll include a link below, and it'll also have some details about the flashlight that I might not have covered in this video. All right, now that we've had some time to go over the flashlight and its different features, let's go outside and do some beam shots. We're at the Smoke and Ape flashlight test grounds. We're gonna go ahead and do some beam shots of the M2R Warrior flashlight. First thing I wanna do is I just wanna turn it on turbo so we can see how well it works. And that really lights up the area well. And as I mentioned before, this is more of a floody flashlight, but I get a very good throw on it as well. And I can see out pretty far. I'm not sure how well that's gonna come out on the camera. Cycling through the flashlight modes. Here's our low mode. And you can see it lights it up pretty good. This would be good for walking around, potentially walking the dog, but I'd like it a little bit brighter. So I would probably go with medium two. The next one is going to be medium one. And then we go to high. So it lights up the area pretty well. We're in high mode and I'm gonna walk around with the flashlight a little bit. All right, here we are just walking around with the flashlight. I'm gonna cycle through the modes. All right, folks, so I wanna wrap up the video. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this flashlight's $99.95, which is a little bit pricey for an EDC or a tactical flashlight, but the build quality is great, and Olight makes fa fantastic products, and they stand behind them. So, would I spend $99 on this flashlight? Yep, I sure would, but I'm a little bit of a flashlight geek, so I get that not everybody would. Big thanks to Olight for sending me this flashlight, and thanks everybody for watching.